in South Florida, Twist Gaming. Featuring lead broadcaster, Matt Koza. Co-host and creative genius, Josh Perry. Co-host and interviewer extraordinaire, Anne Lazito. Co-host and marketing mogul, Aaron Murphy. With appearances from special guest, Lucy. Welcome to Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We are coming to you live here from our studio in sunny South Florida, bringing you another episode of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. And uh, I am Chubby Unicorn Matt. I'm Ghost Horn Josh. And uh, this is Twist Gaming. And today is National Unicorn Day. Hence the outfits. Yeah. So there's that. Josh, what happened last episode on Twitch Plays Kingdom Death? Uh, we spotted it was ridiculous, and we rolled it home, all the way home. Wee, 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 all the way home. The little bit of piggy went, didn't go to the market. Came but uh, we did kill him. We did kill him. Yes, yeah, so that was nice. Uh, it's hard to roll him home if you didn't kill him. Well, no, technically, it's still alive because, te- like, yeah, technically still alive. like, push, like, silk out of its butt still. I don't think that's how spiders work, but okay. Why not? Uh, so in the pre-stream, uh, we had a poll up, and we are fighting a level one dung beetle knight tonight. We made a few babies, and we're ready to just go live live right here, right now. So You're live live. Oh, you know what I mean. So, chat, you're playing as Peanut Butter Filled Undy Hole. I'm playing as Son of Undy Hole. Josh, who are you playing as? Dark Citadel, the meanie butthead, and, and? Derpy McTardface. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. We got the A team here. All right. So, uh, Josh. Yes. Uh, a couple more key points that we have. We are still doing the KDM tips to interact with the stream. We are $75 away from the table goal. If we hit that tonight, we're going to be doing an extra giveaway just for that. We've got something a little special planned in mind. Uh, but, again, $75 away before we uh, officially uh, get the Carolina game table. So with that, let me – Josh, I need some unicorn magic. Okay, so that was disturbing. We'll, we'll just go over to the Just board rotated then. our horns together. Oh, oh look. Okay. Hello, guys. Bat nipples. There's no bat nipples in this outfit. Yeah, no. You can just stop with that. All right, so, uh, again, we are uh, going to fight a level one dung beetle knight. We got two bugs for the showdown already. So, chat, you're going to go first. I'm going to go second. Josh, you're going to go third and fourth. All righty. Let's just jump into things. So, first up, we've got... How about random hunt event? So, chat, you know the drill. Please roll a D108, and you're going to do that with the exclamation mark roll command, or you're going to click on the button for the overlay, or you're going to roll some dice in front of you and then be disappointed when you realize that we don't know what you rolled. I mean, those are your options, really. Uh, And so we rolled a 77. Josh. I don't have that guy. Josh, what's a 77? Uh, it is a number eight higher than 69. Woo! Woo! Dark said the boss. Woo! 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 Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you cut the tail end? <laughs> because it's so much better with it just there. So we will be doing a giveaway tonight, so thank you so much for that. Uh, and now I need to write down Dark Citadel's tip, tippy tip, tip, tippity tip. Just the tip. Just the tip. Just the tip tonight. I don't know what I was going to go with there. I was going to do just the two of us, but just the the tip All of right, us. So, Josh, you write down the tip that we got. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, <clears throat> okay. We're going to be doing a giveaway tonight. Dark Citadel 2 is the boss right now. If he stays boss, he's going to get a special thing at the end. And how much are we away from... $25. $25. $125. Tip. So that's... Uh, d- yeah, that's fine. All right. So we're going to go... And it's my turn What's now. No, no. We rolled a 77. Oh, yeah. We didn't do it. We never said what it was. We didn't do it, did we? No. I got confuzzled. And Dark, what are you doing with your $50? It's a sinkhole. Sinkhole, a gaping sinkhole, suddenly opens under the survivors, revealing a swirling black pool of ichor beneath them. Each survivor rolls a d10, with the lowest scoring survivor being the straggler. 
Or stragglers in case of ties. I rolled a four. I rolled an eight and a saving. Saving? Saving. Siphon. Saving. It's a siphon. Yes, a siphon. So, chat, roll. Let's see what we get here. They rolled a ten, so it's me. I'm the straggler. You are a straggler. And I rolled a ten. Uh, so that is, after a monumental effort, the other survivors pull you free. Someone is clinging tightly to your feet. Mr. Sandman. Bring me a dream. Boom, 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 boom. Make her the cutest that I've ever seen. Boom, 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 boom. Give her two lips like roses and clover. Boom, boom, boom. And tell her that her lonesome nights are over. Ow! Matt, I, Matt next I time we need. I was going to give seventy-five dollars for the rest of the table, but Dark did fifty-one dollars, so here is twenty-five dollars more. It's table time, y'all. It's right. biggest loser time. So I'm going to say still $25 and all the other tips still go on the table. Like, even though we funded it. You could still have an opportunity to get your name on said table. Or your own plaque. Your own plaque on said table. Cool. Um, I think next time for the uh, floating heads, you should have different onesies on for each head. Potentially, yeah. Uh, so someone is clinging tightly to your feet. As they retreat to your settlement, each survivor suffers one brain event damage. So we're getting, a, we're getting a plus one population, but we're each taking a brain damage. Okay. So I need a new survivor name then. Did the, uh, new survivor. So how does this work? They get plus one strength, plus one evasion, or no? Yeah, they, they, they get all the, the same stuff. They get all the cool stuff because they're a cool kid too. Cool kid, cool. I'm a big kid now. Uh, are you though? We're almost out of names. Uh, Nurse Ratchet. Nurse Ratchet? Do you know what that's from? Nope. It's from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. There you go. Tark said, oh, wait, it's still my thunder. I had to switch to the other account <laughs> for $25. <laughs> and I need to know, Soup and Dark, I need to know what you're doing with your monies. Yeah, we need more baby names. Uh, go ahead and I'm, do it, folks. I have... I have five names left. So, like... We're getting close to like being oh, out. Oh, getting close. All right. So next up, it's going to be me and three bugs and a reroll for soup styles. So ah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do that, and uh, after I do this event, so we've got brown ground. The ground opens into a massive pool brimming with a creamy and rancid substance. You know what it is? It's a poop peanut pool. butter. It's, it's the a peanut butter pool. Oh, I was going to say it's the peanut butter pool. It's a diarrhea pool. Uh, the survivors may brave the muck if they do gain a courage and roll on the hunt event table. Hmm. Hmm. Roll three random hunt events if we don't do it, though. I'll do it. I I'll take I'll sacrifice myself. I, I volunteer as tribute. I think everyone needs to do it. Uh. Yes, you're right. We all need to do it. Yep. We ain't afraid of no muck. I rolled a two. Rolled so a ten. I'm gonna suffer. And a three. Five. <sighs> Plus one d ten. Six. I'm gonna take six brain damage. So I'm down to zero insanity. Twitch rolled a. I'm down to zero insanity. Five. So they're going to take. They're going to go down to zero insanity. <laughs> Box checking. So we all check our boxes for our brain. Um, Except for your one character. You rolled a 10, right? I did. You leap from the encrusted nugget to. In you leap from encrusted nugget to encrusted nugget and safely cross. Skip the next space on the hunt board. If you move over the quarry space, ambush the monster. We don't. But thank you, Dark Citadel. So we're going to skip over this one. And this is going to go to you, Josh. Two years is coming up quick. It is right around the corner. So we've got a random hunt event. So, Josh, this is for uh, one of your characters, your first character. What's your first character? Dark Citadel, the meaty butthead. Dark Citadel, the meaty butthead is rolling a D108. So, chat, please do a roll command. That's exclamation mark roll. Or click that little button. Or oh, roll your own dice. Or make up a number and write it in the chat, and I'll ignore it. I should have done that. I forgot to do that. Uh, yeah, you did. They rolled a 37. Josh, what's a 37? Um, less than a 69. 
37 is lost. The survivors are hopelessly lost in the unbroken darkness. Move the survivors two spaces back on the hunt board. <sighs> okay. So we need to roll a random hunt event. Thanks, guys. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Boom, boom, ba -dum. And they rolled it. This is your second character, Josh. 23. Josh, what's 23? Uh, number less than last time. Clean water. The survivors face a forlorn fountain in the shape of a lion's face. A stream of crystal clear water flows from its mouth. Each survivor consumes the water, gaining one survival and one courage. Any number of survivors may roll a d10 and douse their head in the water. So we're getting out of courage. I just hit bold. And we get a survival? Yes, sir. Twitch gets a courage, and I get a courage, and everyone gets a courage. Did you get a courage from the courage. other thing, too? I did not. Did Twitch get one also? Yeah. That's cool. Name Survivor. So I'm up to four courage. Twitch is up to six survival. I'm up to four survival. That's what I meant to say. And they, oh, goodness. Uh, Drink the water. So they they want to dunk their heads. Josh, are you dunking your head? Well, let's see what happens to Twitch first. So chat, please roll a d10 to see what happens when you dunk your head. Is it helpful? Instead of water. Um, do you have any disorders? Yeah. Yes, it is then. Uh, dark, the mini head will do it. Oh. What'd you roll? I rolled a nine. The water is shockingly cold. It rushes over you like a tidal wave and leaves you awestruck. Set your insanity to zero and remove all disorders. All right. I did have Quixotic when we departed, so everyone has a plus one strength token. I thought it was just you get a plus one strength token. Pretty sure Quixotic okay, is just, just you. you. Yeah. So they rolled a six, and a six is the water is bracing. Gain an understanding or remove a disorder of your choice. Given that you don't have any disorders, I'm going to assume that you guys want to gain an understanding. Just saying. Um, I'm going to do it with uh, Derpy. Derpy McTard face? Yep, because Derpy's Derpy. Okay. And that's why he rolled off the table and you dropped an item of gear on the floor, too? Uh, I rolled ten. The way the water is shockingly cold. The water rushes over you like a tidal wave. Set your insanity to zero and remove all disorders. I didn't have any insanity or any uh, any disorders, so I'm not gonna bother. So next up, it's gonna be Chat, or no, your second character, or that no, was your that second, was character. second character, Chat. And we are doing the rolling fertilizer. You notice an unusual amount of insects and plant life. If it isn't already on the hunt board, add herb gathering to any other space. At the start of the showdown, the monster gains a plus one damage token. Roll a random hunt event. So we get out herb gathering another to the next space. Peaches and herb gathering. So we're gonna do herb gathering next. Peaches and herb gathering. Right? Peaches and cream? Know what I mean? Peaches and cream. I think I just got my record insanity for character fifty two. Oh, we, we got did. over a thousand. Over one thousand. They rolled an eighteen. Josh, what's an eighteen? Uh eighteen is the Euron. It's junior. dead weed. You find a strange plant growing from the eyes of a stone face. The event revealer tries to harvest it. Roll a d10. If any survivor has a sickle, add four to their roll. Yeah, so next hot is Herb Gathering. Herb. Oh, then a random hunt of them. Herb. 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 And they rolled a two. Try as you might, you cannot pull out the deeply rooted weed. So we're going to move on, and we're going to go perturp, 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 and it's going to be my turn. I need no, a random hunt event. No, it, oh, no, it's, it's herb, gathering. herb Gathering. Sorry, guys. I forgot. I've got a really bad memory. So Herb Gathering. What herb are we gathering. doing for Herb Gathering? We're grabbing, we're grabbing people named Herb. All right. So each survivor must make a special gathering roll. To make a gathering roll, a survivor nominates any number of D10s and rolls them. All right. So we, it's not after Overwhelming Darkness. So we don't get the plus 10 bonus. So meh. Um... So, chat, we're going to have you roll four D10s. That's what it is, right? It's four. I have three, four, something. I, I think it's four. I think it's four. Eight D10s. That would be good if you got it. I'm doubtful that you did, though. Ten, ten D10s? That would be pretty good. 
They rolled 10, 9, 5, 3. That's a good roll. Mm -hmm. That's 27. Okay. Yeah, 20, 27. That's really good. We're trying to get 75 plus, though. Okay. So we want to get... So should we roll... Everyone else roll three? I think four. The next person should roll four. I'll roll four for my first character. One, one, eight, ten. <sighs> All right. Roll for your second character. Do another four. One, six, three, eight. All right. So that is nine plus nine, so it's 18. 18 plus 27? 45? Is that right? You're the one doing the math. Yeah, 45, Super Sal says. All right, so 45. So that's the minimum that we need for this one. So no matter what, we've already locked in. So I might as well go for four. So I need to get 30. That is the problem. I need to get 30. So 40 tens isn't going to cut it. No. I should roll 5 D tens. 5 D tens, that's still only six. Six is what you need. You need to roll six. I'm not going to roll six. I'm going to roll five because I'm probably not going to get it with six. Roll six. It, it, you're not going to get it either way. See, if I rolled five, I rolled two threes. I would have two nines. Had two nines. Okay, never mind. I can't math. That's fine. So gain two that's, fresh that's acanthus. Not math. Gain two fresh acanthus strange resources. Do we have cooking? No. Okay. So we just gain two fresh acanthus strange resources. That's not bad. Okay. That's it. So okay. now we do a random hunt event. Now we do a random hunt. Now event. we do a random hunt event. Josh, now risk it for some of that dank herb. Dank herb. Hey, who's that old guy walking over there? Why does he smell? Oh, that's Dan Curb. You don't know him? No. That's it. 93. 93. Josh, what's a 93? Uh, more than a 69. And a 93 is... Lost Survivor. In a hollow between two identical rocks, you find a corpse with fabulous hair clutching a book to its chest. Do we have pictographs? Don't. Might. I actually have <laughs> sculpture. I don't see pictographs. Pictograph. Nope. I don't want your pictograph. Um. So yeah, that's that's it. We we move past it. Okay. And now it's time to fight the monster. <laughs> right, Josh. Yep. Say it. So you need to go grab the um, I don't more bugs. Okay, so you set up the board. Um, I am setting up the AI deck because I've got to do that while we were doing the hunt. Oh my god, Josh, really? So it's look nice. Your face is Why nice. Why is means? Because you smell. You smell. Nope, you smell. How did you get a thousand? Maybe I should try that. Uh, uh the legendary phoenix gives a thousand. Uh. Insanity to the person who gives the kill and blow. Two bugs? I think he said three bugs in a reroll. Do, 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 do. Where is his base? Oh, you have his basic? You have his you have his basic card, so I'm not sure what I need to do. What? You couldn't reach this like foot and a half over here to get this? Three advance and seven basic or seven yes. basics and three advance. Yes. Okay. We also need baller, power forward, separation anxiety, and prepared tunnels. I also need an acanthus. Uh terrain tile. So separation, baller. Power forward. Ground Didn't we power. have that at one point? Point a thousand insanity and uh, immortal. My, oh, Matt, I need two more bugs. <sighs> Set up the board there, Josh. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that, Matt. I hate you. Um, thank you for the subscription. Sup, thieves. Uh, we need all the bugs. I need stone columns. 
four for six six stone columns. Fancy bugs and go right here. One, two, three. He's gonna go right there. Imagine if they did a, a bug sub drive, one bug for each new sub. Or the other issue is you have all the insanity and then you have to spend survival or you die and then you can't because you're immortal. Like the Evanescence song? Uh, Matt, can you copy the um, stone columns on the other side of the board, please? Huh? Can you copy the stone columns on the right side of the board? No. I don't want your bug graph. I don't want your... You can cheat with the red fit. That's true. What? Well, if gift subs, Jamal's can still be a thing. You can cheat with red fist and pen. Well, with gift subs, that is true. Well, I want to give away Jamal already. Do I need to add these ones? Um. No. How many? Wait. How many bugs do we have? One bug. Dark said two. Yeah. 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 We need. And soup said three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one bug to start on the board. Yes. Saving bugs. And Matt, can you move us into the starting positions? I sure can, Joshua. Uh, who's tanking it? Uh, anyone have extra movement? You do. Doot. 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 There we go. Okay. So, Josh, what do we got? We got stuffs and things. You're a real pleasure to talk to, you know that? I, 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 I hope the dung ball doesn't eat her bugs. All right. He's going to scent to your bug. He's going to uh, give them more flavor. Okay. So, what do we need to do before we start? Uh, who's monster controller? Dark cat, dark side of the mini head, I guess. The mini butthead. Yep. Uh, Josh is doing his best Ozzy impersonation. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Uh, so beginning of his turn. Oh, 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 oh. He's gonna do power forward. Power forward. Oh, he's gonna. And I thought he just wants to turn and target the further stinky survivor. Oh yeah, that's like the mayor crane. Do you have any stinkies on you? No. So it's gonna be me. Cool. Good job, self. All right, so uh, for the stinky survivor, turn to face the target and perform baller. So he's going to swoop to poop this in front, and this, what does this do to the bugs? Nothing. All right, and then uh, move the ball 2d10 spaces through the target. Would you like to dash? Yeah, I'm going to dash. I like to move it, move it. I don't have much dashing ability, but one, two, three, four, five. Hope it's enough. I'm going to reduce my survival by one, Josh. All righty then. All righty then. Le you there. Let's see what they rolled, Matt. I don't know. They rolled a one and a seven, so that's an eight. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So it doesn't hit me, thankfully. And uh, full move the monster towards the ball. Josh, what's the monster's movement? Uh, Seven. Is it really? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's not technically adjacent to it, right? Um. He's on it. No, he is adjacent to it. Yeah, he's adjacent to it. Okay. But it's now, he's going to draw an AI card. Oh, I never gave you your canthus. <sighs> Do 
doing a real good job at setup there, Josh. And so the monster's going to do shoulder bash. And that is closest stinky threat in field of view in range. Is red got stinky? Uh, red is stinky. It is stinky? Yes. Oh, there's monster crease. So he's going to move and attack you. You're right next to him already. So he's going to attack with two speed, four plus accuracy for five damage. Josh, how much evasion do you have? One, two, threes. Threes of evasions. Can you just uh. speak English? Because your accents are really atrocious. Uh, so it's going to be a seven plus to hit you. Oh, I hate you. It's a bad accent. Your bad accent. No. And you rolled a eight and a one. So that's one miss, one hit. For, wait. Five damage. Can you put that back? Five damage. I wanted to see the after Bash, knock back, and bleed one. I knock. will I will dodge that. That's a nasty one. Uh, so then he's going to perform ground pound. Unless you want to dash out of the way. That's, um, yeah, I could. Can I have ground pound? Pound you in the ground? All right. Six, so. Uh, oh, no, se seven. Yeah, six. Damage. Oh, yeah, he's he got plus a plus one, one. That's true. Uh, you know, I think this is the first DBK stream I watched. I don't remember that trait you did first. Uh, Power forward, because we typically keep the ball away from him. Yeah. So, ground pound, the monster slams the ground, precisely altering the network of uh, tunnels. So, you're going to suffer bash. Nope. Leather armor. Yep. Uh, the vibrations create a natural ramp. Move the ball 1d10 spaces towards the monster. Cool. On collision, any survivors suffer 5 damage to monster level hit locations. Yeah, Tom is bad. Actually, I'll take that over here. Your dogs are annoying. That's um, not the card you just had. It's this one. <laughs> All right, so. Okay. Uh, that's it. Same with the monster's turn. It's our turn now. What's that top uh, hit location? Card uh, if like? do a wound, uh, the monster gets knocked back three, and any survivors adjacent to me, or adjacent to the, survi uh, the survivor, gets a plus one courage. All right. So that would make Twitch bold if they were next to you. It would also make me bold if I was next to you. It would also make Derpy McDerp face. But, like, do you want to just attack? I don't know what you want to do here. So I can move and I can just shoot him with my arrows. Do it. Do it. Who should I stand next to, though? Do it. Do it. Do it. Who should I stand next to, though? Do it. Do it. Do it. I don't know. You tell me. It's your I'll choice, buddy. I'll give it to Twitch. Okay, it's your choice. I'm going to snipey snipes. Snipey snip. Sniper nor sniper. That's a two. Uh, that's a hit. Yep, plus four. That's, that's still a hit. All right. So you're attacking the iridescent breastplate. So a six, seven, eight strength. He's got a toughness of 12. Four so I need plus. a four plus. How about a six? That is a wound, Josh. The monster stumbles backwards. It suffers knockback three directly away from the attacker. If the attacker is adjacent to another survivor, the attacker is showered with praise and gains plus one courage. Oh, the attacker is. Not, sorry. Oh. I got that wrong. I got the courage. All right. Did you get bold? No. This was my Should, other character. Why don't we... Uh, you're so dumb. You're dumb and I hate you. Anyways, Josh, please reduce monsters life total by one. And what's next? Hey, location card looking like. He's going to... I'm going to snipe him. Sniper, no sniping. That's a three. That's a hit. Yep. You're attacking the filthy gut. I rolled a one. That is a failure. If the attacker is within three spaces of the monster, nope. that's it. Nothing but happens. No, he does the yellow part because he's not next to his ball. Oh, that's true. You're right. Uh, so it is the monster crushes a keystone, move the ball 1d10 spaces towards the monster, cancel all reactions, cancel the reaction on this hit location card. Um, he is supposed to have separation anxiety. It's th There's corrections to what some of the cards are. There's a BGG post on it. I got the info from Zenith, who is the designer for DBK, so... It's vetted. It's vetted. Who's two spaces closer? That's not bad. It's still adjacent to him. Gotta me, 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 me. try to push it. So do something. I can't. So Twitch is gonna move one, two, three, four, five spaces, and they're gonna collect their bug. That's that's not what. 
What? They're going to get hit by baller. Not if I kick the ball away. I mean, I know that that's what they want to do. That's not even a question, Josh. Right? Sure. Yeah? Yeah? Maybe. They rolled a one. Actually, I have to get the turning card because I don't know what one is. They stare at their face, and something bad happens. I rolled a seven. It's a D5, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the ball's not adjacent. Poop ball's not adjacent. The threat of the ball will not stop us from our goal. Guys, I got you. I got you. Got you. The bug. Where's the bug card? The bug card's missing. There it is. One, an insect with your face stares back at you and you scutters away. Suffer three brain damage. Oh, they're going to take a severe brain injury. Chat, please roll a d10. You have three insanity, by the way, right? Me? Yes. No. Because you get three on arrival? Yes. Chat, let's see what the severe brain trauma that you get today is. Roll that beautiful bean footage and a d10. They rolled a three. Memory loss. There's two wev le wevels of weapon proficiency. Wevels? What are wevels? Wevels are what Alma Fudd thinks of weapon proficiency. So they nothing happens. Okay. All right. And that's going to be the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Monster control is going to pass from Dark Citadel, the mini butt head over to Derpy McTardface, and we're going to. Uh, that's it. Not too power forward. Because not too power forward because he's not next to his ball. And he's going to do invisible layup. Uh, and that is do not perform this card. Instead, perform ground pound, then a basic action. So, ground pound, the ball is going to move 1d10 spaces closer to the monster, and we're going to do a basic action. So basic action is going to target the closest knockdown survivor, no one, then the closest threat, which is going to be Twitch. So let's see how close that ball gets to the monster. Let's see where his ball goes. Wherever his ball goes. Five spaces closer. Okay? And so the monster's going to move all up in Twitch's business, and he's going to roll three D10s. It's going to hit them on a three-plus, but they also have one natural evasion and then two evasion from their armor. So that's uh, three evasion in total. It's going to hit them on a six plus. So fitty fitty shot. Okay. So 1.5 hits. Right? Right. That's a three, a five, and a four. That's zero hits. Cool. That's pretty good. So then full move the monster towards the resin dung balls. He's going to take a spot back. He He's did the electric slide. And show Twitch your bump. And that's going to be the end of the monster's turn. Pretty simple. I so recommend Twitch to hit it. So Twitch, mm, Twitch, do you guys want to hit it in the butt, or do you want to go for the bug? This this is a good card for them to hit, though. Why is it a good card? They for could them break to off hit? his horn. Ooh, oh, the lower horn. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, um, they also get a bonus for hitting with a club. Lothario says butt. I think it might be butt smashing time. It's smashing time. So I'm going to move them into the left cheek. You know why, Josh? Because left cheek, best cheek. And because they can stand on top of a bug to do it. Eh. All right, so let's roll 2d10s. You guys are attacking with your riot mace. It is a five accuracy weapon. You're in the butt. Uh, and so it's going to be a four plus. I feel like the bug's, like, lifting you up so you can do a harder hit. Lift you up. So you so can stand, stand on mountains. mountains. So you rolled a 3 and a 10. That's one miss, one hit. So you're attacking with you're attacking the Iridescent Helm, and that is going to be a D10. You're going to gain 4 strength because you're using a club. You've got 1 natural strength. Your weapon's got 5 strength. So that is 6 plus 4 is 10. So you need to roll a 2 plus to the monster. What? It's for a crit. Uh, they've got deadly... And a luck charm, so it's an 8 plus to crit. That's an 8. That's a crit. So you break off the monster's horn, gain the iridescent horn, dung beetle knight resource. Persistent injury, broken horn affects some cards. So let's grab his horn. Not my horn. So you got the beetle horn, and the beetle horn uh, is going to do that. So you can gain the uh, that stuff again. 
Or you can make some stuff with it, I think. I don't remember. Some stuff happens, though. Stuff and things. Okay. All right. So, Josh, please do some Monsters Life Total by one. Uh, I did. And who wants to go next? Uh, I won't go next with green. I want to be nine spaces away from them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you're nine spaces away. All right. Uh, I rolled a nine. That's a hit. And you're attacking the... <laughs> the human horn. The untrained parry. That's a two. Two. So that's a failure because you have to crit to hit those locations to the parry. All right. So a uh, full move towards the attacker. Uh, if the monster's adjacent to the attacker, he's not going to be. One, two, three, four, five... He was here? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I? Oh, no, he was here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So he's not adjacent to you. <laughs> I mean, you. I asked you guys, you know, Vermin Claw Qatar. Speed three, accuracy seven, strength one, deadly on a perfect hit. Place a bug tile next to you on a critical hit. Draw vermin resource. I like that. Um, Matt, can you make it so? I don't think I can be nice. Uh, make red as far away as I can be. And I'm gonna snipe. Sniper, no sniping. The four. That's a hit. You're attacking the side of the resin ball. Discard, discard, and draw a new hit location. Can we go Guitar Mastery? Bugs? Are you doing your part? I'm doing my part. I rolled a two. It's the reflex. Plus six, seven, eight. That's not enough. I need a four plus. Bonds is doing the ground pound. So he's going to roll a d10. Yeah, Vespertine Bow. Vespertine Bow. Do, 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 do. That's a nine. So it's going to be adjacent to him now. I tried, guys. I tried. So that goes away. And then ground pound is... Knocks down on everyone. Jason, bash on everyone. Okay. So I just wanted to see if that affected you. I thought I wasn't sure if it was an area of effect or not. Nope. Um, Who still has to go? Just me, right? You haven't gone. I probably should... The <sighs> problem is... Yeah, I'm going to stay where I'm at. No. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go closer to the ball? Oh, I was... Yeah, you're right. One, two, three, four, five. I was here, right? Yeah. Two, three, four, five. I'm going to check hit location cards. Do you want to go so you could hide behind that pillar, possibly? He's going to kick it after red or green first. No, uh, he's not going to kick it after green. I'm uh, going to check hit location cards. Okay. I play the way I want to play, meanie. Uh, so, uh, what are you doing now, Josh? Uh, green's going to dash. I'm not using my throw. Put this one on the top. That's fine. Okay. All right, so that's the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Monster Control is going to pass to Peanut Butter Filled Undy Hole, and the monster is going to do power forward. So he is going to face towards the furthest stinky survivor. So that's me. Mm -hmm. Face towards me. He's going to roll two d10s. Are you going to stay where you are, or are you going to dash further? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has to move nine spaces. Two d10s. Average of 11. Guess I'm gonna dash. I don't want to dash that much. You can hide behind the pillow, though. Do that. Five. They rolled an eight and a six. So it's a good thing I moved. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and it stops. Right. Yep. Okay. But at least the ball's really far away from him now. I think I move towards it, right? He does. He full moves towards the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now he's going to do a basic action since Twitch crit him. 
with the bonk hammer. Oh, they did, didn't they? So his basic action is going to be the closest knockdown survivor, then the closest threat in range. So that's Twitch. He's going to turn around. He's going to attack Twitch. He's going to roll three D10s. He's going to hit them on a six plus. Do, 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 do. Monsters going to poop on you with the dung ball. Do, do, do. Do 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 one seven four. So that is two misses and one hit for five damage. I'm gonna say they dodge it because it's gonna be a severe injury if they take it. So chat, please roll d10 to see if you regain your survival, and then full move the monster towards the dung ball. He's gonna go here. Okay. And it's our turn. It is our turn now. So it, I, the top card there is actually, it's pretty good for Twitch to hit that one, I think. Uh, it's a basic action targeting the attacker. For a failure. For failure. Or I could snipe it, and he comes after me out of range. That's true. That works, too. So they so rolled a one, so they are going to spend their survival. Okay. Um, can you make me nine spaces away from, red nine spaces away? I can make you a real boy. Uh, one, two, three. I'll go the other way, if I can. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay. Slapey, no slapey. It's on the edge. The two, that's still hit. You're attacking the iridescent abdomen. I rolled a nine. Wait. Okay. That's that fine. is a crit. That is a crit indeed. Nurse Spot just gifted five subs. Five subs. I want sub That's sandwiches. That's awesome here. Subs. Who got the subs? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so it is a crit. Gain one random Dung Beetle Knight resource. Alex and Sam, Thero, Magic, Moose Moo, Remhar, and Lux Twitch. Lux Twitch. Uh, so that is the monster vomits chunks of boiling resin that hit the ground and momentarily form an unhappy face. Gain a plus one strength token. You may spend four survival to cherish this moment forever and gain four permanent strength, or one permanent strength. I have the survival to do it. Wait, what's the new giveaway? Mm-hmm. And Ice Chamber said, yeah, new giveaway. I don't know. Mm. Um... Enjoy the emotes. Uh, so, sorry, where were we? Are you getting the plus one permanent strength, Josh? I don't think it's worth. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do you think it's worth four survival? Yes. Okay. You've got a buttload of survival. I do. All right. So, uh, we're also going to gain a random Dung Beetle Knight resource. And it's going to be Century Fingernails. You shot his fingernails off, Josh. Awesome. These nails are never clipped. I just clipped them. They're, no, they're never clipped. Never. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. I did. All right. So what's the next card looking like? Uh, wound, uh, the monster suffers knockback three. Then performs a ground pound. I mean, that's not a bad one. Twitch is going to roll a d10 and go for their bug. Okay. You're going to be too far away to actually hit the monster, Josh. Can if green dashes, I could hit? If you dash, you could hit. That's true. Are you dashing? Dashing through the bugs in a one-horse open bug. <sighs> yeah, I'll dash with Or them. the bugs we go. Bugging all the way. I'm going to spend a survival. Bug, bug, bug. So I'm down to five. They rolled a ten. Josh, what's a ten on the bugs? That's a bug. Yeah, are you sure? Yeah, I'm definitely sure about that. They got the Time Beetle. Josh, what's the Time Beetle? The Time Beetle. Let's do the Time Beetle again. Matthew, do you dash green into range, please? Um, No. Okay. Uh, up to them if they want to eat it. Do you guys want to eat it? I, I saw Ice Chamber said consume. I pulled that time beetle so many times. I want a new bug, pouts. Chat, roll a D10. They rolled a D10, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, Dark Citadel wrote, hold on to it. I get the feeling we should eat this bug. Uh, 
I saw a consume. Uh, you guys are eating it. What'd you roll? And how about a three, Josh? Rapidly feel your life drain. Fill all age boxes. Huh. So do we want to re-roll that? Does that mean that they it's get... It's a generic art, but they get aged up all right now. So maybe they get some cool buffs. Yeah. And they'll just be retired after this. Okay. I, yeah, I guess you gain the benefits of age, right? Yeah. So go ahead and roll 2D... Have the, I would have had them roll 6. I'm just going to do 2, 2, and 2. Although technically they would roll 4. Yeah, I, 8. 8. I, but you can only do 6 the max. So, so I can just do 6 with the next one. Okay. Which is a little weird. Uh, what's the best result? Uh, you get ageless. Well, that would be nice. That would be nice. You've got it before. Have we? Yes. Okay, so they roll 8 and 7. That's 15. That is gain a random fighting art. So that's three random fighting arts, right? Um, and we pick one? Yes. Because we have a romantic. All right. So what do we get for these random fighting arts? Unconscious fighter takes seven bleeds to kill you. It's good. That is very good. Uh, tenacious. When you wound attempt is a failure, you may put it back on top of the hit location deck and then defender when a survivor adjacent to you is knocked down. <sighs> I think it should be uh, tenacious, no? Yeah. Once per round, you put the one you missed back on top. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, they rolled that quick. So they rolled an eight and a five for the next one, which is improved reflexes. So that's what? Thir uh, f 13? Yep. Uh, gain plus one permanent strength. Okay. Then they rolled the next one. They rolled a four and a six. So that's a ten. Though, so that's another random fighting art. So, chat, please pull. Oh, that's a hunt event. Shit, sorry. Oh, no. What did they roll? Oh. Nine and nine is the last yep. one. So that's 18. All right. So please pull some fighting arts. The last one is an 18, and that's gain plus one permanent speed. All right. Cross arm block, synchronize a bunt, butt punch. And oh. berserker. Once per showdown, you may spend an activation to suffer bash and frenzy. Synchronize butt punch, you spend one endeavor to teach. That one's not great. Uh, cross arm, I guess. You change at one of your hit locations to arms. That's poopy. Okay. So they've got all their age boxes filled out. What now, time chicken? Cool. So, uh, what else, Josh? Uh, green's going to snipe. Sniper, no sniping. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Uh, it's a nine. That's a hit. Okay, so you're attacking the iridescent arm. I rolled a two. That's a failure. <sighs> All right, so then I'm going to move over move here. Move that dung. I rolled an eight. You guys are lucky I'm good at kick and poop. Long ass fucking time ago in a land called Kickapoo. Hello, bits and bobs. All right, so... Uh, that's now going to be the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn, and it is going to pass from Peanut Butterfield Undie Hole to Son of the Undie Hole, and uh, we're going to draw an AI card, and he is going to do Smash Shot. Do not perform this card. Instead, perform Ground Pound and a basic action. So we're going to roll a d10 to do a Ground Pound. No one's getting knocked down. Pound that ground! And uh, then we are going to... Uh, do a basic action. So he's going to target the closest threat in range, which is going to be Lil Ome. Lil Ome. And they rolled a 8. So this thing's going to go all up here. And so he is going to have to go ba-doop, ba-doop, ba-doop. And we're going to roll 3d10s for it to attack me. You could take it. Take it like a twitch. I could. Uh, so the basic action is going to hit on a 3+. plus. I've got one natural evasion. And I've got one evasion from my gear, so it's going to hit me on a 5+. plus. Not great, but whatever. And it is a 9, a 1, and a 2. It's one hit. One hit for it you? 5 damage. And that's going to hit me in my head. I'll take it. Okay. I have 5 armor there. It's fine. And uh, full move the monster towards the resin dung ball. There it is. Yeah. He's, full, he's next to it. Yeah, I guess. Okay. No, that's mine. All right. So it's now our turn. All right. Who's going? Um. 
Twitch is going to get the bug next to them. What are you doing in the meantime? I guess move green so I can get in range. That's a 10. That's, That's a perfect hit. And you're attacking the iridescent back. Failure. Turn to face directly away from the attacker. If the, mon the monster beats its wings, all survivors in the blind spot suffer knockback 7. Nothing happens. Uh, chat rolled a 7. Josh, what's a 7? It's a bug. Give me a bug. Give me a B. Precognitive pill bug. Josh, are, we eat are they eating the precognitive pill bug? Do they have to eat the precognitive pill bug? Something with the precognitive pill bug. Do, 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 do. Consume! I see a consume. Give me an... Let me see another consume! Um, they can eat it. Let me see mashed potatoes. Let me see potato salad. Anything to wash away the taste of the Thai bug. Josh, dab. Coming real close to hitting me in the face. Uh, they're all to three. Head explosion. Kaboom. Sorry, what was it? You are dead. Your head explodes. Brains everywhere. What's when they're using a reroll? Uh, now that is a reroll. Does anyone have a reroll? I'm pretty sure their character has a reroll. Oh. Yes, their character. Soup style does have a reroll, but. It's better to use this reroll first. Yep. Because this one you don't have to keep. Right? Yeah. Right. Far out, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Little, little beetle. Beetle hit you in the face and your head goes boom. Boom. How about a four? An explosion. Huh. Oh, no, it's not severe uh, head injury. It's it's what happens when you eat the bug. Does anyone want to burn a reroll? Uh, I believe was it ice uh, soup, soup style. Said he, had, he 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 asked for a reroll. Dark technically has one. Too. Dark could. Oh, bug eating! Yeah, these dice need to be de bugged. Okay, might as well use my reroll. I want to see more bugs. All right, so thank you, Soupy. Soupy, soupy. Then we brought it on yourselves. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what happens here. Roll one more detail. This one we have to keep, though. Yep. So there's that. Dark Citadel, the meanie butthead, just can't take hitting the monster and commit suicide by bug. Uh, you guys aren't playing as dark. You're playing as uh, peanut butter. How about an eight, Josh? Eight. Gain the foreseen ability. What's the foreseen ability? Change any die roll to a one or a lantern ten, then lose his ability. That's good. All right, so uh, you went with green. How about with red? You're going to go with red now? Uh, yeah, I'll go snipey snipies. One, two, three. You can go here. One more, more. I'm going to move that poop. Five spaces. All the poop moving. Okay. I uh, sort of wanted to save it to make sure I won the one who kills it bet or to troll Matt and Josh. Mm -hmm. So it's a one-off 100% critter fail when needed. Yeah, yep. exactly. All right, so uh, that's the end of our turn. It's now Monster Controller. It's going to pass to Dark Citadel, the mini butthead. And are you staying where you are? You staying right in front of the monster, or do you want to move? It doesn't matter. It's fine. Okay. Actually, no, I am going to move. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so he's going to draw an AI card. And he's going to do Resin Ball Shot. So furthest stinky survivor. Who's stinky? Uh, everyone but green. So it's going to target red. Okay. Uh, so turn to face the target before him, baller. How does it do this? I'm pretty sure that... Is this one supposed to have... I think that one's supposed to have a... Uh I, yeah, I, I think I remember this being one of the ones that they... Yeah? There should be two of them in the deck, so... Yep. Uh, instead of perform ground, pound, and basic action. Okay. 
That is stinky. Give me that card. Still stings of peanut butter. Peanut butter. I like peanut butter. Peanut butter. That's what I like best. Do you like it on your pants? It's 2d10s, is that it? No, for oh ground pound, it's 1d10. Okay. Baller is 2d, or power forward is 2d10s. Okay. Okay, the back. And the ball's going to move seven spaces. Come on, man. One, two, three, four, five. Then he's going to do a basic action. He's going to target me there. I made three tens. And peanut butter. I like peanut butter. Oh, lady then. Oh, righty then. And they rolled a six and a ten and an eight. That's three hits. Damn. Yeah. That's no bueno. No bueno. Uh, foot, foot, head. Well, shit. I'm going to dodge the head. Okay. And I'm going to take a severe foot injury. I am knocked down. If you can please get me a knocked down token. I rolled a one. Uh, do you have a reroll? I do. Blood geyser. Blood shoots from your femoral artery at an alarming rate, killing you in seconds. Okay. Well, that's an ouchies. So I'm going to reroll. How about a ten? You're I'm knocked just down. knocked down, but I'll get up again. You're never going to keep me down. I lost my balance. And then full move the monster towards the dung ball. Okay. Um, I mean, you can just move towards the bugs at the beginning of the next turn. All right, so it's now our turn. Okay. Twitch is going to move to their bugs. And they're going to roll d10. Josh, what are you doing in the meantime? Uh, I'll shoot with red. No, green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. It's two that still hit. Our rolls are really poopy tonight. How about the iridescent leg? The seven. Is that a crit? Nah, it's a plus for crit. Damn it. All right. So uh, that is a wound, though. So, Josh, please reduce monster's life total by one. Okay. And that's it. And so uh, chat rolled a two. What's a two on the bugs? Two is you catch nothing. Okay. You're going with red now? Um, trap card's up next. Ew. You should be standing, by the way. Yeah, I am standing. Uh, I'm going to check the hit location deck. Okay. Because I'm still standing better than ever. Do. Beer, 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 beer. Beep, 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 beep. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hurry up. Why are you so slow? Why are you so slow, Josh? Josh, why are you so slow? Josh, 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 Josh. Okay. Snapper, snapper. That's a two. It's a hit. You're attacking the filthy face. That's a crit. The crushing blow dulls the monster's senses. It gains minus one accuracy token. Archive this card. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. Okay. All right. And I am going to hide behind this column over here, by the way. All right. So that's the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Monster control is going to pass from Doc Citadel, the mini butthead, over to Derpy McTard face. And we're going to draw an AR card. I did something wrong here. Oh, first, he's going to perform uh, power forward. So he's going to target the furthest stinky survivor. So that's going to be me right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be red. Sorry, Josh. You're getting attacked. Do you want to dash? Uh, yeah, I will dash. All right. Josh, please reduce the monster's accuracy by one. He did. I did. The meat shield can't hide, Matt. Go keep us safe while we consume. It is kind of funny that everyone else is like shooting the monster and you're just like, I want to eat bugs. I want a bug. Bug. Dun, 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 dun. I want a bug. It's an eight and a two. That's ten spaces. 
Okay. All right, so uh, Monster is now going to draw an AI card. I messed up his ad. I'm trying to fix it. Can I have an AI card? Yep. All right, Resin Ball Shot. Oh, excuse me. Uh, this is the oh, one. Is he supposed to full move after the ball? After he throws it? Why? Yes, he is. All right. So now he's gonna ground pound. So tap, please roll d10. And then we're gonna see what happens here. Okay. Cool. Welcome to ASMR time with Matt and Josh. Yeah. Where cool stuff happens. One space! <laughs> All right, so uh, turn to face the target. No, no, no it didn't. No. Do, it doesn't do that. Just basic. Uh, it, it do basic. So closest knockdown survivor. No one. Closest threat. It's going to be green. So it's going to go here. I'm going to dash. Ooh. I don't know where he was. Move. Move. Okay, so that's it, and then full move the monster towards the resin dung ball. I love you, poopy ball. You're so nice. Okay, so that's the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. Who's doing what? Twitch is going for that bug again. I already know that. Uh, green will snipe. Sniper, no sniping. Uh, five. That's a hit. That's a hit. Mm, then you're attacking the side of the resin ball. It's a nine. That's a crit. Your attack luckily spins the ball, crashing into the monster. Gain plus one survival. The monster is knocked down. That means you hit on three plus now, right? Yep. Uh, chat, you rolled a two. You know what that means? You get nothing! Nothing! Sorry, guys. You're having problems with the bugs. All right. Trap cards. Uh, he's going to move back five. Trap cards up next. All right. I am going to check hit locations. Don't you know that I'm still standing better than every day? All right. Uh, red will shoot. Full shoot? No. Okay. Trap card's there. Oh. How about a three? That's enough to hit. All right. So you're attacking the Filthy Resin Sword. It's an eight. That's a crit. No, it's not a crit. It's not a crit? I don't have a luck charm, so... You don't have a luck charm? It's a nine plus the crit of red. That is a wound, though. So, Joshua, please reduce the monster's life total by one. No wonder you can't find the bug. It's hiding under your feet. Don't you know that I'm still standing better than ever do? All right, so uh, that is everyone. So, monster control is going to pass from Dark Citadel, the mini butthead, over to Derpy face. And now he is going to do power forward. So he's going to target the furthest to stinky survivor. So that's little old me. So he's going to face me. He's going to spin the ball around him. And then he's going to go one, two, three, four. Oh, no. it's Why am I do, doing it? You're it's just 2D10. counting, right? I'm just counting. I'm just counting number of spicers. Oh, no. I fell in love with the calcified juggernaut blade in my last campaign. It is a nice weapon. Don't we have one? Oh, no. We uh, haven't calcified We haven't calcified it yet. We it's just, just got, the broken to, one. got to pieces. We got the shards of Narseal. Right? Sure. You don't know what that is? Really? Maybe. Lost your nerd card. And they rolled a five and a three. So it's an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's going to chase after it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then he's going to draw an AI card. And he is going to do shoulder bash. And that is closest stinky threat in field of view in range. Uh, that's going to be Twitch. So he's going to move one, two, three, four, five, six. So Twitch can dash and like just dash to the other bug. Sure. I feel like that makes the most sense. So, Chad, please roll a d10 to see if you regain your survival. You're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to try your luck with Fancy Bug because that other bug's been very evasive to you, right? <laughs> All right. So roll a d10 and see if you keep your survival or if you, you lose your survival. And they rolled a four. So they're going to lose their survival. So they're down to four. All right. Then we need another d10 to be rolled. And this is for the monster ground pounding. 
He's still going to attack them, so he needs to move seven spaces. Well, I'm not done yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's guarding the bugs now. He is the bug guardian. Uh, fancy bug is harder to hide. That top hat gives him away. That's true. You're like, ooh, who that fancy? That must be fancy bug. I'm going to get him. And full ground pound chat rolled, eh? How about an eight? ESPN eight, the Ocho. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yes. Okay. So that's it. That's the end of the monster's turn. Okay. It's our turn now. Twitch is going to go for that bug. Roll D10. Okay. And uh, Josh, are you attacking? Yeah. Can you get green within nine spaces of him? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I sure can. You can go right there. How about an eight? That's a hit. You're attacking the filthy wings. Take these, these filthy, filthy wings. wings. And, and roll fail. the one. Turn to face directly away from the attacker. Then you're gonna he's gonna beat his wings and that's it. He's gonna be off. Chat rolled a four. Josh, what's a four? That it would be a bug. Give me that beautiful bug footage. See, fancy bugs just like I'm not hiding from you guys. I love you. Please eat me. And they pulled what? The pleasure. Palace. Bed bug. Bed bug. Does that, do they want to eat that? Uh, Should they eat that? Okay. Could they eat that? Consume the bed bug. Take. Ooh, that bug is ribbed for our pleasure. You can feel it going down. High chance of death is great. They're rolling, by the way. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. What they oh, get? This, this could help. Possibly. They rolled a seven. Seven? The salt, salty and bitter taste overwhelms you, and you forget what you saw. That's or, it? Well, as you eat the bug, you are assaulted by vision, so then you forgot them. Oh. Okay. You saw what the bug saw, then you forgot. Salty bug. Salty. Yes. Yes. Yes, salty. Who added this? I never put the name of who added this. I think it was Nayabari. Considering it's a Pleasure Palace pill bug? Yeah. Bed bug? All right. Say, a Joshua. Ten would have uh, gave you some cool stuff. Who what you wanted. Ten. Soup got it. Do we want a ten? Ooh. A they, actually. They could auto ten it. Yeah, they want a ten. Okay. So they're going to use their uh, foreseen ability and get a ten there. And what does that do, Josh? Gain enlightenment from the visions, and remember your forgotten past at the palace. Trigger the event, White Secret, and remember the story of the Ageless Man immediately. Do not roll on the event. They just got Ageless. Oh. Well, thank you, Anonymous. An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub to Zilna. I kind of wish that they got better stuff from their aging. Yeah. But, I mean, you got Ageless. Boo, they're just going to make Dark TPK again. Perfect combo. Yeah, that was pretty good. Can't argue with that. Uh, so who needs to go still? What else did they get from uh, White Secret, though? Oh, I don't know. You just told me that it's just ageless, and then you told me to not worry about it. I was it. just saying it, it, it. you do the... Uh, a dream bear. So you're going to suffer the lunacy brain trauma. And the story of the Ageless Man is you're going to gain plus one accuracy and plus one strength. So plus one accuracy, they're up to three strength, and they're going to gain the Lunacy Brain Trauma. And the Lunacy Brain Trauma is gain random disorder and one D5 insanity. All right, and so can you please give me a disorder? Let's see. Everybody roll. Tiny Arachnophobia. Okay. That's fine. Just can't have spooder gear. Spooder gear. Spooder gear. And they rolled a one. So they're going to gain an insanity. Well, that's pretty nice. It's a good combo. What is a Jew? J word? It's a J word. Keyword? I, I wrote Amber J. The text says oh. it's me typing every disorder into the thing, and I had a typo. Um. Okay. So, uh, who needs to go still? I'm gonna I'm gonna check hit locations. Thank you. 
take these filthy wings and learn to fly again. Meow, 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 mix. All right. Uh, can you get red within nine spaces, please? Nope. Go for it. Go pew, 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 pew. I rolled a seven. That's a hit. You're attacking the hidden mandibles. Eight. It's not a crap. God damn it. Oh, don't you wish you just put a damn luck charm on him? Oh, All right, yogurt. so perform ground pound. Not going to bother. Then perform a basic action targeting the attacker. Not going to do anything. Literally going to run at me and then run back. Yeah. Okay. So just please reduce the monster's life total by one. And now we've all gone. Uh, monster control is going to pass over to Peanut Butter Phil Dundee Hole. He is going to do bowler. And move your move your shoulder. Get out of here. Well, in my life. I just did. Can't tell me what to do. <sighs> I mean, it is a nice one. Just create a whole entire system based around J words. J words. Who's he targeting? Me. Are you? Oh. Wow. Great roll. I am the furthest away. He's going to run into the pillar. Yeah, that's true. Just gonna pew, do that. Okay. There should be one more up because it tries to move in a straight line. <laughs> All right, so uh, then the monster's going to go after him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then he's going to draw an AI card. And he's going to do the invisible layup. So he's going to do ground pound and a basic action. Take these broken wings. Why is the one half of the camera blurry? There might be a fingerprint on it. Is that blurry? side here. Maybe zoom it in and out. Maybe, maybe it's just because like half of it like I don't know. I think it's the fo like since it's at an angle right now it's slightly different focus. Maybe. maybe. So they rolled a six. So he's going to go adjacent to that. Then he's going to perform a basic action which is going to target me. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. He's That's one more. Seven. It's It's adjacent to me. No, is it? Yes, it oh, is. I can't say. You can dash if you want to. I only have friends behind. I only have one survival left. Oh, would you rather get hit three times again <sighs> or dash? I'll dash, fine. Okay, whatever. <laughs> That's Josh's mumble or making things all blurry. Okay. So nothing happens there, and then he's gonna full move back towards the ball. Right? Yep. Right. Goes there. Now, no one's close enough to hit him. Actually, he should have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I would have been here. Eh. Okay. And then he'll move back towards the ball there. Okay. All right. So who's attacking him now? I don't think I get close enough. Can if you dash. Come on. Come on, little one. I know what Twitch wants. I know what Twitch wants. They want their buggies. Going for that bug that ran away from them so much before. And now they're going to get it. And Josh is going to figure out what he's going to do. Do -do, 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 do They rolled a five, Josh. What's a five? It's a bug. That's right, Josh. Yep. <laughs> Ice tick. Excuse me? Ice tick. Excuse me? It's a tick of ice. Cold as ice will sacrifice my, my blood. Bug. bug. Switch finds this bug, they must consume immediately. You don't even have a choice. Roll D10. Roll a D10. Shh. All right. In the meantime, let's see what else we can do. 
take these broken bugs and learn to, to bug eat again. again. Buggy, buggy, bug. I think you guys got this before. The three. I keep rolling three. Your insides freeze up as the ice shards shoot out of your mouth. You are dead. I don't have a reroll. Twitch doesn't have a reroll. D E D. D E D. Dead. I am Cornholio. I need the TV over my bunghole. <laughs> I guess I can give them Derpy McTurd faces reroll. You said it was a good one. Someone could tip for a reroll. I'm going to give them the reroll from Derpy. All right. So, roll D10 chat. Roll, roll that D10, D10 footage. And learn to 10 again. That's what we need, Matt. We just need footage of rolling D10s. Why? And then you can just be like, roll that D10 footage. Just have D10s rolling all over the screen. How about a two? Uh, your inside freeze up as ice shards shoot out of your mouth. You are dead. Okay. So, unless someone tips for it, or we Dark uses some of his money for it, a Twitch is dead. All the dead. Extra the dead, dead now. Just really cold. They're just like, oh, that's, that's a frosty bug. That's, that's a cold bug. That hurt. All right, so I think that uh, that they dead for now. Okay. Uh, we do have graves. I'm going to knock them over. Just signify their deadness. Put this bug on top of them to show that he hath consumed them. Turn upside down so it looks like they're eating them as they died. Eh. All right. Uh, green's going to dash. Dashing through the bugs. Um, do you want me to trigger his trap card now? Sure. Uh, best thing is uh, plus one luck. Ooh, that would have been nice. Sniff, sniff, that was the luck bug. <laughs> the bad luck bug. Ha! So do I want to trigger the trap now, Matt? Yes. So I need you to move hit locations. I will move hit locations. You guys had to eat it. That's a nine. You've activated his tarp guard. So all survivors are doomed. Full move directly towards the attacker. If the monster is adjacent to the attacker, it picks them up, leaps high into the air. So it can't. So, so it, it doesn't full do moves towards me. It, that's what it does. It full moves towards you. He's like, hi. That's it. Yeah, but come on, there's no fun in that. All right, so. Oh, well, ageless guy hath been dead. Hath been. Okay, so, uh, who else needs to go? Did we all go? No, Red hasn't gone yet. Red hasn't gone yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You do have to move one space closer. Okay. One space closer. Shuffle. <sighs> Just keep staring at it, Josh. No one has to eat any bugs now. It's a swarm of butt flies. I don't even know if I want to hit it. More like a swarm of butt flies. Why not? Why don't you want to hit it? Oh, okay, cool. Because it does a lot of damage. I mean, what else we're going to do with it? Just bury it? Yeah, maybe. I'll shoot it. I'm going to... Full shoot. Sure, I'll full shoot. Can you move me within five? <sighs> yes. Do you not trust me? I wanted to see if I... W uh, two hits. All right, so you're taking what? Oh, that was a great one. So you're attacking the butt flies, a swarm of butt flies. A swarm of butt flies gushes out from under you. Roll d10. If the result is greater than monster level plus five, yep. you boldly ignore the flies and archive this card. Cool. Next. 
You're attacking the Century Carapus. Plus six toughness to wound this location. Roll the one. Uh, lose one survival. Good job. And what's next on the hit locations, Joshua? Swarm of butterflies. Swarm of butterflies, more like it. But we've all gone now, right? Right. Yep. So it's going to be the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Monster control is going to pass over to Son of the Undy Hole, and he's going to draw an AI card. And he's doing the smash shot. So perform ground pound and a basic action. So ground pound, chat, roll D10, see how close that ball gets. And uh, he's going to attack green. Greena, greena, greena. Swarm of bugs, eat them all. How many bugs could you eat, Josh? Um, how many hippos can you eat? In a minute. Six. That's good. It'll only move one space closer. Cool. So he's going to move one space forward. He's going to attack you. Um, 3D tens. You're not going to be able to dash out of the way. I was thinking I just want to dash so he, like, when he runs back, he's not, like, super far. Dark Citadel, are you using part of your tip for a reroll? That's what it sounds like. Pew. Pew, 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 pew. Three, house. seven, four. Hits on a three plus. Two evasion. So it's going to hit you once. Uh, he also has minus one ac accuracy. It's still going to hit you once. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to dodge it. So defeats. And I keep my survival. All right, so now we're rolling to see that ice tick reroll. Yep. I think they want a five plus. How about a six? I think a six is nothing happens. Oh. But they're alive. I'm alive. Yeah. Mmm, tasty. Like Campbell's soup. But so they still have their turn now, right? Um, it's the well, monster needs to finish. Oh yeah, that's true. All right, so then monster's gonna run back towards the ball. All right, so now it's back to R ten. Lady then. And they're gonna go after this bug. I'm assuming. Okay. They're bug drunk. Drunken bugs. Ooh, you wanna go for the butterflies, Josh? Mama loves butterflies. Oh, Papa loves butt flies. Uh, yeah, can you get uh, red to be with a nine? A five, that's a hit. Roll a d10 again. It's a five. That is not greater than one plus, so you're going to suffer one brain damage and are knocked down. Why did you say, oh, this is a lot of damage? I thought it was... I don't want to hit this. It's a lot of damage. You, oh, I take one brain damage. Oh, ouchie. Oof. Bone hurting juice. Uh. All right. So they rolled a nine, so they got a bug. So what bug did they get? No, I don't want an innovation. I want a bug. Crab spooter two. Okay. They got a crab spooter. That gives you plus survival, right? Yep, plus three survival. They don't need it right now. All right. So then, uh, Josh, want to go with green? Century Carapace card, do you want to do hit locations? Not worth it right now. Just shoot it. Shoot it, bro. How far away from him am I? You're close enough to hit it. I, I want to see if I can do it. Can you make me do a full shoot shot? One, two, three, four, five. I sure can. Sure you can. Six, six, one. That's two hits. Two many hits. Look at all those Century Carapaces. Aren't I glad that I didn't do that? All right, so go ahead. Guys can't search. That's a 10, so that's a wound. All right, so instead of wounding the monster, archive this card and gain a survival. Okay, I'm at seven survival. Now you are attacking the sentry carapace. Three, that's a failure. Lose one survival. <laughs> Net zero, high speed internet. All right, so uh, that's going to be the end of our... No, I still haven't gone yet. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check hit locations now. So another sentry carapace. So the next three hit locations were Century Carapace. <laughs> um. okay. 
Papa loves Mambo. Oops. Uh, Dark re-rolled the roll. Yep. All right, so it's Monster's turn now. He is going to do uh, power forward. So he's going to turn to face me, put the ball in front of him. He's going to be like, I don't like you. And he's going, I'm going to kick my poop at you. Kick the ball. No, it's kick that poop. Poop ball. Poopy doops. Poopy doops. Poopy doop doops. Poop, 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 poops. They rolled a two and an eight. That's a ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then they're going to full move after it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then he's going to draw an AI card. You didn't. Why didn't you do that before? Grab one. Not that one. He's gonna do the invisible layup, so he is going to do ground pound and a basic action. So basic action is gonna target Twitch. They should dash. They get so much survival. They could be like, I'm just running away from you. You smell you stupid. You smell you stupid. And then he doesn't make it back to his ball. He. Why? Hmm. Why wouldn't he make it back to his ball? Because he would run after them and then run back to the spot he's in. Otherwise, if he hit him, he would run back all the way back to the ball. What? Oh, I see what you're saying. The ball moves one space closer than them. Then they're going to go up to... Th oh, no, they were here. They're going to dash. One, two, three, four, five. Roll a D10. They're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then... Actually, I'm going to say that they went here so that they can get close enough to the puck. I mean, they were five six away anyway, so it doesn't really matter. What? They were five. They're adjacent to the bug anyway, so it didn't really matter. What? Move them five spaces away. They could always move five spaces on their turn. What? Hate you. And no. now he's gonna run back. He's not gonna move back, is he? Yeah. Basic action at the end of your turn, he moves back towards the ball. You said that he wasn't going to. Like he wouldn't get adjacent to the ball if they dashed. You need them all. Have them roll a d10 to see if they use the survival them. I did. No, you didn't. That was the one for the ball moving. Are you sure? Yes. Stop being a lazy bum. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't care. And then you immediately tried to get it. Immediately tried to get it. Immediately. All right. So roll these and see if you keep your survival. And you rolled a eight. So you do. And that's the end of the monster turn. It's now our turn. So red's going to stand back up. Yep. Don't touch that. It's my token. All right, so who's attacking first? Uh, green within nine spaces. Yes, unless you want a full shoot. No, I want a snipe. Two, that's a hit. And you're attacking the iridescent back. It's a four. That's a wound. Six. No, it's it's not. It was a four plus before. My other oh, character. Your other character. Turn to face directly away from the attacker. What are you gonna do, Josh? Huh? 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 Shoot with red. Not gonna full shoot? No. Pansy. Ten! Perfect hit! You're attacking. Discard, discard, and join your hit location. Century Carapace! Nine, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's enough. Gain a survival. Sure. And archive that card. Alrighty then. Oh, 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 righty then. One, two, three, four. How much health does the monster have left? Uh, four. Okay. Getting close. You are getting sleepy. <laughs> very, very sleepy. So rolling the ten, and they roll a four. Four. It would be a bug. Last bug, guys. Let's see what the bug you get. Oh, you pulled the ice mask. stick again. You have to eat it. You have to eat it. Roll D10. To, oh, no. I don't want that many D10s. Shit. <laughs> I asked for person. 60 D10s. That's a little too many D10s. That's a shitload of D10s. But you're eating it anyway, so it's fine. It's good. What do you make noise for? Little poopy man. You are a little poopy man, Joshua. They roll a eh? to lots of lots of dice. Lots of dice. Lots of dice. Everyone went to sleep. 
is just loads of dice. So please roll. Use the exclamation mark roll command. Or hit button. Or hit button. Uh, three, three, nine, six, three, seven. Only the first one matters. Three. You're dead. You're dead. You freeze. You die. You're Again. dead. You're frozen in Soviet Russia. Bug eat you. Yes. So you guys are dead. Again. Again. From that ice tick. You hit like your first time. Again. Because it was so tasty last time. Again. Yep. Uh, so I'll just knock you guys over for now. And in the meantime, I'm going to check hit locations, and I'm going to run five spaces away. All righty then. Terp card. I spy with my little eye. A terp card. A terp card. Josh, can you move me behind the pillar, please? Yes, I can, sir. You could dance if you want to. One, two, you could leave three, your four, friends five. behind. A very spread out on this board. Um, I don't know if you're considered in the field of view anymore. Why is that, Joshua? But we got all the bug patches, so mission accomplished. Uh, yeah, I guess. You, you ate all the bugs. You did. Why would it matter if I'm in the field of view or not? I don't know how the thing targets, but it doesn't matter. Wait, did, did we eat another ice stick? Yep, ice chamber, you ate another ice stick. And you died. And you died. All right, so... Well, we hate all the bugs. We no longer have a reason to live. Yeah, that's, that's I guess, and it's true. I mean, the biggest bug of all is still on the showdown board. Yeah. You broke his horn off, but you didn't get to eat him. His human horn. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sarah Pony. Uh, so, uh, Mosque Mosque gonna move. Mosque Control is going to move from Son of the Undy Hole to Dark Citadel, the mini butthead. Uh, draw an AI card. And he's going to do Smash Shot. So he's not going to do Smash Shot. He's going to do Ground Pound and a basic action. So let's roll D10. And we're going to do the Ground Pound. It's the Ground Pound. Do, 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 target do, do, basic? Do. The closest threat in range. It's green. Just close enough. It's the reflex. Uh, and it's going to move two spaces. Un, de. So he's going to go... Hang on, dash. Okay. One whole space. Uh, I'm going to dash further away than that. I'm going to hit my survival. There's no reason to dash further away because he's uh, back to the I wall. I want to be ranged. Oh, I guess. And then he's going to run back here. I missed you, ball. I love you. Uh, Cool. Hello, Miss New Bolly. No. All right, so that's the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. Monster okay. controller is going to be the same person because that's not how it happens. Um... How far is... You're close enough with both characters. Yeah, yeah. close enough with both uh, characters. Green's going to go first. That's 10. Perfect hit. You're attacking the iridescent arm. How about a 9? That's a crit. If the attacker has 3 plus courage... No. Oh, and you're not adjacent to the monster either. No. That's fine. Uh, so you do wound the monster, Josh. So please reduce the monster's life total by 1. Do uh, within nine, I'm at nine spaces away from him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces. Uh, moving back one of them. Okay. That's a nine. It is hit. You are hitting the iridescent abdomen. The six. six that is wound. wound. Uh, Josh, please reduce monster's life total by one. It is my turn. I am going to check hit location card. Sentry carapace. You piece of shit. All right. That is okay. All right, then. So, monster's turn. Monster controller is going to pass over to Derpy McTard face, and he is going to the power forward. So, he's going to target further stinky survivor. So, that is me. He is going to roll two D10s and see if ball hit me. Right, Joshua? What? What? Oh. What? You're an idiot. Anyways, uh, he rolled a 7 and a 5, so that is a 12. So Josh, move the ball 12 spaces closer to me. Hello, Mr. Ball. Please move the Dung Beetle Knight 7 spaces closer. And Joshua, I'm going to need an AI card. He is going to do Smash Shot. Fairest Stinky Survivor. It is going to be uh, b b b red. Uh, red. 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 
Uh, Twist Gaming is a Slovakia last name, right? Yes. Med Twist Gaming. <laughs> what, what in the what? All right. So, fairly stinky survivor. Turn to face target and perform bowler. So, please roll two D10s there, Chet. He's going to put the ball in front of him. I will dash. I don't think you need to red. dash. You're I very far away. You go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You need 15 in order to hit you. 3 D10s? 3 D10s. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm dashing. Okay, I didn't realize it was three. My fault. I need to add one more D10 to this. They rolled a five and a one, so you're safe. I'm safe, but I'm extra safe now. And you need to roll one more D10, please. At the end of ball's movement, place any survivor's ball collided with and knock down the ball as close as possible. He performed ball, so he now is going to full move towards ball. Move five more spaces. One, two, three, four, five. He is going to move is one, two, that part of three, baller? four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he moves five. He moves. No, that's part of power forward. Oh, that's not part baller. of power forward. You're right. Sorry. He stays where he is. I think. Yeah, you're right. He's here. Here. Where is baller? I don't have baller. You have baller. Baller just suffers. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. So he stays all the way over there. Yep. So, uh, AI card? AI card go to you because. So you're the only one that can hit him, huh? Yeah, but I don't want to hit him. Why? Because I don't want to hit him. He's scary. <sighs> Screw it. Move me to the butt. So, 2 D10s, I hit on a 6 plus. I've got no accuracy, so I hit on a 5 plus. I'll put your left cheek, just in case. I hit once. I don't think I had enough movement to look for left cheek. Yeah, you did. Did I? So, I'm attacking the Filthy Claws. <laughs> and uh, let's do it. Okay, so. Take these Filthy Claws. So, it was a 6. Plus 4. It's 10. I have Plus 2 strength. Two. Just okay. enough. Just in there. Uh, then he's going to perform Ground Pound, so I get knocked down. And the ball will get up again. Ten spaces closer to him. I'll get knocked down. But I'll get up again. I'm going to down. You could put that next to the character. They rolled a... Smifty five. I don't think that's possible on a D10. Smifty five. It's not possible on a D10. Smifty five. It's not possible on a D10. So they rolled a... Smifty five. One. I wanted to go the other way. So, it's the end of my turn. You two can go. Um, I won't go collect that acanthus. It's a six. I gain one survival. So I missed a lot of episodes. How many involve the hunt party being wiped due to eating bugs? Uh, only Twitch dies of the bugs for the yeah, most Yeah, pretty much. And it really isn't that much. Less than you'd think, yeah. Okay. Alright, so that's the end of our turn. I'll put my shield up for no reason. No, like, honestly, we've maybe killed two or three people in total from eating bugs. No? Yeah. In the new game plus. Uh, so, it is uh, now the monster's turn. Monster Control is going to pass over to Peanut Butterfield Dundee Hole. Okay. Thank you, Chubby Tired. That's also my name. <laughs> I am both chubby and tired. All right, so uh, Monster is going to draw an AI card. Uh, there's none left. So, so he's going to do basic action. Ah, oh, damn it. Targeting the closest knockdown survivor. You could stand up at the beginning of your turn, but you're still close to starting range. Yeah, so he's going to attack me. I feel like since I started watching again, there was a death every time. That's like Recently, we've had a bunch of deaths. Yeah, we've had like some TBKs, but that was not from bug eating. That was just from lots of trolling. Yeah, that's very true. It's usually I get cocky about our OP bug guy, and I bite off more than we can chew. Yeah, it's pretty much accurate. So it's going to hit me on a 5 plus. 8, 5, 5. That's with the minus 1 accuracy? No, 4 plus with the minus 1 accuracy. I mean, 6 plus. <laughs> Wrong direction. <laughs> I, minus so 1 hit. Yeah, 1 hit. I'm going to see where it hits. See where it hits. Hit my foot. I'm dodging that okay. because I have no more foot armor. And uh, full move the monster towards the resin poop ball. 
All right. I'm going to stand back up. All right. And then I'm going to check AI cards. Coolio. Come along and ride on a fantastic voyage. All right. I'm going to... I do love bugs. Cooking plus sickle and two bug traps are my typical mid-game gear. Interesting. Here. I'm going to shoot with red. Whiff. That's an eight. You're attacking the iridescent leg. Now hold on. It's a four. That's just enough. That actually, it's a three plus now because I got it. That plus one that oh. strength before. There you go. So Josh killed the monster. Don't, don't. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Yay! We did it. We, we did, did it. We did it. We did did it. it. Hooray. Hooray. All right. So. No, I don't want you to roll a hunt event. Wait, you cook bugs? You could cook bugs, yeah, if you don't eat them during the... Then they don't kill you, because they're cooked. Yeah. Get rid of all the salmonella. Salmon and Ella. Yes, you still have... You used the reroll and two bugs. Yes, you still have $30. Yeah, that's fine. I don't... I think I know what he's going to do. Heal one. Heal okay. One. Okay. <sighs> Okay. We didn't do it. We didn't do it. We didn't do it. Hooray. Um, reflex and monster performance with ground pound. No, wait. No, no. Never mind. All right. Wrong so, guard. Chet, uh, Josh, you want to attack the other guy? Um, it's a century carapace. I'll just do it. Get rid of it. Do it. Do it. Three. That's a hit. You're attacking the century carapace, Josh. Hold it in. Ah, that's, that's not that. enough. You lose a survival. That's the end of our turn. Monster Control is going to pass over to Son of the Undy Hole. And um, he's going to perform. He's going to move away. He's going to perform a basic action. So he is going to target. Did I give you the back of the basic action? Cool. Where did I put it? I don't know. Oh, it's over here. The closest threat in range. Red. Um, I'm gonna dash. Dashing through the snow. Yeah, Go ahead. Dash. Where are you dashing to, bud? Just the space over. All right. So, doesn't hit you. Then he's gonna run back to the ball and be like, "Oh, my sweet bug, my sweet ball, you're so beautiful. I love you. I love you. I love you, Mr. Schmooter." And I'm gonna check the hit location cards. Thank you, Matt. I found you, Miss Douche Booty. Right. Yeah, I'm going to shoot with red. And you rolled a two. Still hit. You're taking the filthy gut. Eight. That is a hit. That's a crit, no? No, it's, it's red. Nine plus. Red. All right. So that is a wound. Joshua, please choose monsters life total by one. If the attacker's within three spaces of the monster, you're not. We did it. We did it. We, we did, did it. it. Hooray. Hooray. Yeah. I'm just waiting. For Dark, I heal one more. <laughs> yeah. I heal two more. It's not I'm a pretty, I'm pretty sure he wants to do an extra settlement event with the 25. So he uh, had five extra, so he figured uh, he, uh, that, that he'd troll with the health. That's, that's going to be my assumption. That makes sense. I like that. I like that reasoning. All right, so main board Kim, and so what we get? What we get? Uh, the group investigates the large resin dung ball and the network of tunnels beneath the battleground. Inside the ball, they find a caustic and mineral-rich substance. Rolling aside the ball, they find passageways leading deeper underground. After collecting rewards, do the spelunking of death. Spelunky. The what? The spelunky. Excuse me. The spelunky. What? You get that with your bazooki at BJ's. <laughs> uh, so we're going to get six basic resources, four dung beetle knight resources, and two caustic preserved dung resources. So the four dung beetle knight resources, we're going to get some scarab wings. Take these the scarab, scarab wings. wings and then soak them in water in these vein-filled wings. Gain some elasticity. We're going to gain the compound eye, the scarab shell, and some underplate fungus. Uh is it a thing to use the Flower Knight icon for the Dung Beetle Knight? Um, I forgot to program the overlay with the DBK icon, so I used the Flower Knight since they're both knights. 
Uh, so we got some monster hide. We got some monster organ. We got a love juice. We got some monster hide. We got a mystery meat, and we got a monster bone. And we also got the two caustic preserved dung resources, Josh. And don't forget, we also took home a crab spooter, a beetle horn, and some sentry fingernails, and two fresh acanthi. All right, so... Do we innovate storytelling? Uh, no. Okay. So that's it. We're going back to the settlement, and now we, no, we do the spelunking of death. Oh, spelunking of dirt. Spelunking. The pizuki of death. Pizuki of death. The group investigates the monster's network of tunnels and are inspired by the rich vegetation. If your settlement does not already have it, gain the subterranean agriculture innovation. Nominate up to four victorious survivors from the showdown to be spelunkers. One at a time, each spelunker rolls a d10 on the table below. Oh, we all get a hunt XP, too. We do all get a hunt XP. Look at I that. I itched up. Does anyone want to do a spelunking of death? Um, I kind of don't want to. I was going to try and scare you with a full heal, but then the stream went all buffer crazy. Oh, sorry about that, Dark. D Josh, do you want a spelunk of death? Um, Josh? So here's the thing that I'm thinking. If I do it, yes. worst case, this guy dies. Yeah. He's eh. And then we get a better get, baby out of it. We get two endeavors instead yeah, of one. That's true. This guy's at least got the extra plus one strength, which is the only reason why I didn't yeah. kill him. I mean, they have some courage and some understanding, but it's not that much. I don't really care about that. All right, uh, I'm going to spunk a death with this guy. Okay, go ahead and roll your d10 then. A five. A five. If you have a pickaxe, I don't. Gain a courage. I just got um, bold. You just figured out bold's clues. You just you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna I'm gonna spelunk with the other guy. Oh, I can't now. We have to do it in the beginning. Oh. I had to declare who it is in the beginning, right? Not really. I guess I could do, do it. it. I rolled. I rolled a ten. Well, shit. Uh, beneath the passage of bones, you find a secret entrance and are compelled to attempt the trial of valor. Roll d10, adding half your courage. Round it up. I have two courage, so I had one. I could do it. One. Oh shit. You die. Your corpse is incinerated. Archive your gear. No. Do you have a... I think you have a reroll, right? Nope. Nope. Well, shit, really? I thought we had a reroll left. I don't want to lose all my gear. <sighs> That's butt. Yeah. That's real butt. Does, does anyone have a reroll that they want to use? In... Oh. That's ass. Literally anything else that I rolled would have been fine. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yo, that shit's fire, dog. All right, so while we're waiting, uh, I get to do bold? Yes, you've been bolded. Take these bolded wings. And learn to fly again. Yeah, I definitely sucked there. Uh, so this is during the settlement, uh, the showdown phase, right? Yep. So you gain stalwart. Ignore being knocked down by brain trauma and intimidation actions. Okay. Uh, roll d10. A five. Gain three survival and three insanity. Okay. Uh, get wrecked. And uh, I got age on my other character. All right. So roll two d10s. Uh, 12. That's going to be gain one random fighting art. He doesn't have a bow, Dark. He had the Greater Gax and the Screaming Armor set and stuff. I love you, Nihabari. I love you so much. <laughs> Nihabari. I want to see a second one roll. <laughs> <laughs> Just wants more despair from you. Uh, that would be a lot of despair, to be honest. How about a three? So that's a four. And that is, you fail, but master your fears. Gain a courage. I'll take it. You get bold. I do. I just get bolded. And what's 12, a uh, fighting art? It is a fighting art. Uh, did you ask chat for a fighting art, please? I thought I did. Buttons doesn't seem to be working right now. Chat, please pull random fighting arts. We need trace of them. So I rolled an 8 on the bold. So I got stalwart, but I'm also going to gain plus 1 permanent strength. That's not bad. I got three strength now. I could, I could make do with that. Assist. Propulsion drive. Ephthalmology. Entomophagy? Your love for bugs shows 
uh, and your. Whoa! Oh my God! Stop! <laughs> Stop! Stop! Did you hit it again? I. It's not gonna. St- <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 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 you're the murderer. Here you go, man. All the fighting <laughs> arts. No, I don't. I don't want any more fighting arts. <laughs> oh my god! Someone needs a timeout. Oops. Oops. So full fifty fighting arts. Please don't. Oh god! I can't time out the broadcaster. <laughs> Your love for bug show, and you found a passion for the ta- and you found a passion for this. If you consume a bug during the showdown, you gain plus one token of your choice. If you decide to not consume a bug after you collect it, you take a brain damage and gain disorder. You want that? Yeah, that's what I took. Okay. It might be Twitch's character now. Yeah, it's probably gonna be Twitch's character now. All right, so <clears throat> uh, that's it. We're gonna go back to the settlement. So now we get a settlement event, right? Settlement event. So. Oh my Stream Deck is being a little bitch baby tonight. All right, so please pull a settlement event. Dark Trader! Dark Trader. I'm so glad that came up instead of in the belly of an angel. In the belly Belly of an angel. angel. In the belly. We're going to pull the other one afterwards. Um, Dark Trader, a corpulent man reclines on a chair, carried on the backs of four cloaked men. He offers to sell the settlement many amazing treasures. Each item may be purchased once. Oh, this is kind of the poopy one. Yep. We got a cool thong. Thong It's, it's kind of hard to get that cool thong, though. You have to roll a 10. Yep. Would have been cool if we had that uh, roll First. 1 or 10 ability. You know? Yep. Uh, we got Gronklot. And then we're going to do... We always pull the things one at a time. Uh, founding stone is kind of poopy. I mean, I don't want to found stone. Oh, they get the immortal stone. So, Gorm Climate. So, chat, please roll a d10. We'll get there, Dark. I promise. I promise. You'll probably pull something worse than in the belly of an angel. Uh, so please roll a d10 and let's see what we get for Gorm Climate. The returning survivors find the settlement tormented by a relentless foul weather. Add Gorm Climate to the next legend here on the timeline and roll d10. So uh, everyone, please roll. Well, that's the exclamation mark. Roll command and uh, or click the button on the bottom of the page if you have the extension. We're thirty-five dollars in tips away from another giveaway tonight, folks. So we're already doing uh, two giveaways. We're doing one giveaway for beat the boss, and the other giveaway for get the table goal. So big shout out to everyone there. Uh, you can dethrone Dark Citadel two to become the new guy. Uh, but a six rolled is. Do we have Hubble, Josh? No. The echoing cries carried on the wind where the returning survivors reduce their insanity to zero. They must skip the next hunt to recover from their journey home. And uh, you can go ahead and kill that character. Don't forget to write how they died. Ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. I need, I need the pencil. I need the pencil. All right, and uh, we need that last settlement event map. All right, so Dark's settlement event. We need another SE, please. Let's see what we get here, folks. Let's see. Ravenous scouting party. Nope. Can't next do one. that. Skull eater. Skull eater. God damn it. Skull eater. Skull eater. Bring eat me, me a skull. skull. Find me a skull. skull. Please eat a skull. skull. <sighs> Randomly choose a returning survivor and give them three insanity. So random survivor. Can't be purple. Can't be purple or purple. Uh, because it was archived. Blue! Oh, of course it's me. Uh, Son of the Undy Hall. Please add three insanity. And uh, the survivor consumes the skull of a deceased survivor. So I just ate peanut butter undies, peanut butter filled undy holes skull. Okay. Uh, and um, they awaken a hunger that cannot be stopped. Roll on the table below. They gain marrow hunger. When the, when the murder or skull eater settlement events are drawn, this survivor is nominated. And I rolled a four. 
Uh, the Skull Leader's activities go unnoticed. They gain plus one permanent strength and plus one permanent courage. Plus one courage, rather. Add murder settlement event to the timeline next year. Guys, so I know we bury our dead, but what if we eat their skulls first? What, what if we did that? Thank you, Boiled Egg! That's a great name. Yay! Murder. Boiled Egg from 1974. How gross would that be now? Um, Really, really gross. I mean, it depends on how it's stored. Like, is it in a freezer? Is it in a Ziploc bag in the bottom corner of your fridge? Is it just sitting in your pantry? I think, I think just... What if it was just sitting on the pantry? Like, just sitting in, in your pantry. Like a boiled egg from... In a Ziploc bag. From forty five years ago? Yeah. That's 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 gross. I hear boiled eggs pair well with soup style. Hey. Right. It could be yeah, it could be a thousand year egg. Chinese thousand year egg. Uh what's the I don't know. There is a milestone that might be triggered. When a survivor with a marrow hungry impairment has a child from intimacy. Oh. So if you have a baby. What does that do? Uh, they get giant blood, and we get that fighting our dad deck. What's that do? Uh, giant's blood. Is What's that do? What's that do? I'm looking. I'm looking. What's I'm looking. that do? Josh, what's that do? Josh. 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 It's giant's blood. Josh. Giant's blood. You gain plus one strength and minus one evasion. Mm -hmm. And when you can, you may consume skulls. If you do, you gain the marrow hunger impairment. That's kind of poopy. So we can just make like babies that get marrow hunger, so they get nominated for murder and they just kill each other. Just so like a little part of the settlement that that that's designated giant murder, murder babies. Murder babies. Okay. So we'll do that at the beginning of the next stream. Josh, is there anything else that we have to do at the uh, end of this stream? Sun dripping. Sun dripping. Sun dripping. Just just a note, guys. We only have two more years of normal hunts. Sun dipping. Yeah. Beams of light spear the ground, driving danger away. Inspired, the settlement creates a right of uh, creates a right, and gains the partnership innovation. Nominate up to three pairs of eligible survivors to partake in the solar ritual. Between rolls, the remaining survivors may get scared and choose to end the event. This would not cancel the effects of any results rolled. So for each pair, roll a d10. A survivor is eligible if all of the following conditions apply. They are purified. They have not participated in the solar ritual before. They do not have the partner ability. Jersh? I'm looking to see what we got. Jersh? Doot. 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 Do, 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 three turtle doves and a partridge and a bat tree. All right. Uh, we only have one pair of people that are purified. So roll 1d10. And uh, let's see what we get here. Show me what you got. Take. It's broken wings. I'm going to fly again. Making broken wings. Wings that are broken. There's some wings. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And they rolled a 10. Okay. Uh, is one of them a child of the sun? Nope. Okay. Uh, the pair enter the light, and a warm presence envelops them. They emerge to a cheering settlement with a promise rooted in their hearts. The pair gain the partner ability... And the Sun Eater secret fighting art. Okay. So what's the Sun Eater secret fighting art again, Josh? Uh, it's really cool, but we're going to lose it once they make babies. Huh? It's really cool, but we're going to lose it once they make a baby. Oh. What's it do, though? I think it allows them to use survival. Uh, use um, surge. With uh -huh. strength tokens. I don't recall. Okay. All right. Let me know when you... Is that it, then, Joshua? Yep, that's it. All right, so thank you all for joining us today. This is going to conclude our presentation of Twitch Play's Kingdom Death. Uh, join us tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Time for uh, Twitch Play's Folklore. The Affliction. The Affliction. Uh, we'll have Will on Live tomorrow? on Kickstarter, right? The expansion is live on Kickstarter. Yeah. Yes. 
uh, Fall of the Spire. Fall of the Spire. Uh, then join us next week, maybe Monday. If not, join us on Tuesday for a continuation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. To find out what we're doing, though, make sure that you follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and come chat with us in our Discord channel where? You can see all the clips from our peanut butter stream. You can. It's you disturbing. see me in a Sailor Moon outfit with jorts. If you have Amazon Prime, you've got Twitch Prime, which means you get one free sub every month. We'd love it if you used it on us. Remember, all the bits, tips, cheers, and money you throw at us goes directly back into funding the stream and doing more giveaways for you guys. And speaking of giveaways, we triggered a couple tonight. So the first is because Dark Citadel beat up Ice Chamber, became the new boss. So Dark Citadel, congratulations. You are going to be getting a little something-something at the end of the stream as well. Uh, we're going to be doing another giveaway because we reached our table goal. Yeah. So it is official, guys. We're going to be getting a Carolina game table for the stream. Super excited about it and if you want your name uh, engraved your twitch handle engraved on a plaque on the table you can do that for tipping $25 in a singular stream uh, if you do $100 in a singular stream you are going to get your name plus a, f a full plaque to yourself to write whatever the hell you want as yep. long as it is within terms of service and those are going to be our terms of service our terms of service so you're, those are going to be within the uh, inner ring of the table kind of like a ring of honor and those will be on display for everyone to the see for glory. all future streams Table! I like Stumpy looks like he's flipping the tail, but the table fought back. Right? Uh, Josh, is there anything else? Um, no, that's it. Thanks if you're watching on video on demand. Uh, bing, bing, bada, boom. Click that subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified when new videos. I don't I don't know the whole pitch because we're not you like we're not YouTube people. We're not YouTubers like we are, but we aren't. Yeah. Um, and uh, just a big shout out again, guys. Thank you so much for all of the tips on the stream. It goes a very long way into keeping the stream going, and we definitely couldn't do it without the generosity and support of all of our viewers at home. So, big shout out from the bottom of our hearts here. But for now, signing off, I'm Matt. I'm Josh. Good night, everyone. Good night.